Hello everyone, welcome to this week's GT Sport Daily Race C race review from this week's Daily Race C which is Group 2 at Circuit de saint Quat C in reverse Got a little bit of a saint Quat struggle to go through here Settings for the race here on the screen, 6 laps to get round Soft and medium tyres available, tyre weight at times 5, fuel at times 2 and the tyre requirement is that we have to run both those medium and soft tyres so here is the lobby for this one I actually put in a reasonable bit of time into qualifying for a change So starting up there in P5 Reasonably strong lobby, I think this is around about half past ten on Monday night We've got Vicious Venom starting just in front of us Who sometimes comes into the live stream and the comments in the videos Got Max piled in in P12 with a couple of drivers to watch from the back are Ram Oscar And the Dilster, very quick drivers going to come through the pack and no doubt feature at some point in this race So let's get this one underway We're in the Nissan GTR from 2016 This car has proven to be a lot quicker than the 2008 car we used in the strategy guide Just in terms of acceleration, it accelerates out the corners so much better Jumped on the Australian account on Monday morning Did a back to back uh, comparison of them just to see how they fared And yeah, quickly discovered that I should have been in the 2016 car just due to that acceleration So we have have our usual uh, start of the race woes we just don't quite get the tyres up to temperature like some of the other drivers we are on the medium tyres here starting in P5 Vicious Venom getting a little bit wrong there through the, the quick sector easy to do this track you're going to see several drivers bin it over the course of this video uh, just put a wheel on the grass in these cars with that amount of torque and power going through it very easily spins the car up so as we come over the bridge here and into the sort of final third of the lap We're coming under a lot of pressure from the car behind the German of Leonidas Max Now I reckon they probably were on the soft tyres at this point Just given how much quicker they seem to be through the corners Putting us under the pressure, I'm not a big fan of having a car put me under pressure I have to say Run a little bit wide here into the right hander but nothing too major but we come down to this next corner here We are going to fluff it just a little bit Not entirely sure what happens Well, I think I do actually kind of know what happened The rear brakes locked up We get a little bit of a wobble It's enough as we try to collect it We don't manage to keep it quite on the track Could have been a lot worse We didn't actually spin which was nice But we do lose five positions there I think or maybe six cars have actually passed us And uh, as we come down towards the braking zone For the hairpin we've got Max power on our outside I see them late as we kind of exit the corner I squeeze them into the barrier just a little bit Apologies to that, to Max power uh, But nothing too major, but definitely my bad So coming down towards the last corner here You can see people jotting all over the place As they tried to jostle for position We break nice and early I see Max power had broke nice and early behind us as well So not having to worry about that but Even so, we still managed to get it wrong Run wide out the corner or kind of just get the exit all sorts of wrong Allows Max Power to pass us on the outside And at this point, I wasn't intending pitting to be perfectly honest with you But we do decide that now, given we've made a mess of it a couple of times And this uh, race is going south fairly quickly Let's get into those pits and see if we can try and recover it with a little bit of an undercut On those drivers around us So yeah in for those soft tyres, we're going to do 5 laps in the soft tyres As we've seen in the strategy guide, I think this is entirely possible I've seen a lot more drivers were more often not going for a kind of 2-4 split Which is fair enough as well We are pretty good on tyres, so I was kind of quite happy to do the 5 laps on the soft tyres Got Max Power just in front of us though Is going to have a very, very common accident at this track Again, as we said earlier in the video You just clip a wheel on the grass In these high power cars If you've just got a little bit too much steering lock Then you're going to have a little bit of an accident And the Italian of Flash Has uh, again spun out in front of us as well And as we come exiting the hairpin Just a little bit later in the lap We've got a German facing backwards So St. Quasi Claiming many souls, maybe not quite as many as Brands Hatch last week But definitely proven to be quite tricky to keep the car on the straight and narrow all the time So some other drivers are starting to make those pit stops now And we have moved up into P8 Undercut a couple of the drivers that were around us And a little bit later on that lap we make up our position into P7 Simple slipstream move down the very long straight On the Lexus, doesn't quite have the legs of the GTR down the straight and uh, you'll notice that DCR or TRC is it? Dilster just behind us has also uh, moved past the German and is now right behind us. As we come up the hill here, I 
I wasn't too keen on Dilster making the move here, but I knew he was committed, so we left the space. That's fine. Uh, and uh, let's see if we can hang with Dilster through this third sector. Unlikely, Dilster, a very, very quick driver. Proper top split driver. I believe he's actually won races within top split, so no shame in being passed by Dilster. And uh, yeah, as I said, unlikely we're going to keep pace with him, but we'll try our very best through this third sector. Looking behind us, we've now got Ram Oscar. Oscar, also a super quick driver these days. Certainly improved over the last uh, year, that's for sure. We used to be keen to reasonably equal with Oscar on pace, but he has uh, moved into a different league compared to us now. Wasn't especially happy with that overtake attempt from Oscar in all honesty. I think he actually backs off into the hairpin here just to let his back through. But he's got the run down the inside. And unfortunately, things are going to get a little bit messy between me and Oscar into the last corner. Uh, I'm going to put it down a little bit to the cockpit view here. It's kind of hard for me to judge this last corner. Oscar's in the inside. We broke early just to try and let him clear us before we got to the turn-in point. We misjudged it a little bit. Turned into the back of his car. He hit the barrier on the inside. And uh, yeah, cost us both time. Cost me the position to Vicious Venom, who has been recovering from that spin earlier on. So apologies to Oscar for... Uh, that little contact in the last corner that was just a slight misjudgment me not thinking or thinking that the back of his car had cleared the front of my car yeah but no no real harm done overall and to be honest with you that was to be the end of this one uh, we kind of managed to stick with Vicious Venom more through the fact that he picked up a half second penalty at one point and then started to struggle with the tyres towards the end of the race he de definitely had more pace than his overall uh, but yeah not too bad at all in the end, given that accident that kind of cost us, or that little moment that cost us five, six positions. But it did feel like a little bit of a struggle this race. The pace wasn't there. I wasn't happy with the lap times. But overall, in the end, despite the struggles, a P8, not too bad overall. And a nice race with uh, Vicious Venom, and we had a bit of racing action with Oscar and Max Power and Dilster as well. So let's say uh, just quickly move on and talk about another race that we had we actually started this one in pole position not entirely sure why we went from p5 in the race previous up into pole position but we managed to just well, we started on the soft tires we did five laps in the soft tires poker ace behind us kept us super honest through the entirety of the stint we did sort of open up a little bit of a gap at one point around about 1.5 seconds but a very tardy lap four allowed poker ace back in to uh, our slipstream and yeah the pressure was on the entire time so nice to race with poker ac comes into the, the live stream chat as well unfortunately we get undercut by dilster well not quite undercut dilster started at the back on the medium tires uh, i think he pitted at the end of lap two i knew it was going to be kind of close and whoa, we were just a couple of seconds from just holding on to first position i don't think it would have made a massive amount of difference dilster opened up a gap to around about 2.4 seconds by the end of the race but we brought home second place so a slight improvement but one thing I did want to highlight from that race that we've just seen there where we finished second where the Italian here who started in P2 started on the medium tyres I just wanted to highlight something that we kind of said in the strategy guide if you start at the front on the medium tyres pit at the end of lap one then you're possibly pitting yourself into a whole lot of trouble now the track looks fairly clear here for the Italian and he makes a little bit of a mess of turn one as he comes out but the Italian was super quick that's one thing I did notice he actually held on to me with the medium tyres whilst we were on soft tyres so much quicker than the drivers towards the back of the grid and as I said he makes that early pit stop and then just put himself into a whole world of trouble with some of the other drivers fighting with drivers here who are just to be honest with you not in his race costing them time hand over fist but eventually managed to get by this driver here but then they clip him into the corner just before the bridge and again as I said this is just the danger of starting at the front on the medium tyres and I'm not saying it's not possible you can do it but this was just something I felt was going to be a big risk of running that strategy is that we're going to because of the field spread even at the end of lap one on a long track like this you were kind of going to be pitting into cars who just were nowhere near on your pace and again just another example here he makes the overtake into the hairpin but he's now having to defend for his life down towards the last corner just cost him more and more time cost them tyre wear yeah it's not worked out for the Italian he actually spins a little bit later on and uh, next race up very very brief highlight started this one in P2 
overtook the Spaniard down into this corner here. We made a mess of it though, hit the barrier. A little bit of an awkward situation with the Spaniard because I think he was trying to let us by. I'm not sure what tyres was on at this point. But we had to sort of give that one up. Allowing the other drivers behind us to kind of catch up. He puts the hazards on there again. I'm not entirely sure. Thought about going for the move here, but yeah, yeah. Don't really want to go side by side through this off camber corner. It doesn't usually work out very well for at least one of the drivers. So coming up the hill here behind the Spaniard, and we are going to have a little bit of a strange accident, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, we do run it pretty close to the barrier, but you know, just all of a sudden we were going round in a circle. Uh, nice uh, 360 no scope there from Womble Boss. Cost us a few positions. Not a massive amount of time, but definitely put us in amongst drivers we didn't really want to be fighting with at this point. Uh, nice move from the Spaniard round the outside here. I think we're probably still suffering from overheated tyres. Try and battle it down towards the left-hander up ahead. Got max power in front of us. But yeah, we gave this one up. The Spaniard's got the inside line and I wasn't sure we weren't going to be putting the gravel. But in fairness to the Spaniard, he left room on the outside. We did recover quite nicely to third place. We stayed out in our soft tyres and did the five laps. And uh, pitted at the end of lap five. And uh, finished just ahead of Got Max Power. So yeah, and not a bad recovery from third place. But some nice racing overall. Enjoyable. A little bit of a struggle. A couple of spins and bins. Other drivers are sharing the same fate, but if you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye now.